it's me, Kisa. I'm not gonna be on video today. I kind of don't feel like being seen right now. Rissy has been sick since Tuesday, and it's Friday evening, and I'm just kind of over everything at the moment. Um, this is the Tokyo Treat Box. It's a Japanese candy subscription box directly from Japan. And they have three versions. They have a small for $14.99 a month, a regular for $24.99 a month, and a premium for $34.99 a month. Um, I'm not sure which one this is. I had a hard time getting this because it was sent registered mail. And I've had a problem with my postal carrier for a while where he likes to not deliver the package or knock at the door. He just will throw a slip in the mailbox and that's it. And then trying to get him to resend it, rebring it back is kind of frustrating. So he left the slip, told me to go pick it up at the, this one mail place down closer to my house. And they're like, well, we don't have it. It's clear up in another town. I'm like, okay, well, I've sent for it to be redelivered a couple of times now and they haven't. So I had to lodge another complaint against this mail carrier and that's frustrating so for the rest of my packages that have shown up this week you know since I've complained again have actually shown up like he'll actually knock at the door now it probably won't last long like it didn't this last time but there you go um they've been really looking forward to me the company has of getting this review out um they kind of keep they email me every day, so they're getting kind of impatient. And I can understand because it took forever to actually sort out the mail issue. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm trying. Um, but I'm going to get it done, and that'll be that. They did send me this in exchange for my review, yada, yada, yada. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up for you guys. Now, they are based in Tokyo. They get full-size candies and limited edition snacks, and they offer free shipping worldwide. So, let us see what is inside. So, we get a Tokyo Treat Volume 1 in January 2016. Cute little cover here. Um, reads left to right. Talks about the items. I like how it's pictured. Sorry if you can't see it. I can't read it upside down. Um, says what's in the small, regular, and premium. So we're going to go with this. Okay, this is a Yokai Watch Character Soft Serve Ice Cream. That's what it says. Okay, this is... Recent years in Japan, there have been a huge surge in popularity in monsters and ghouls, especially highlighted through the hit show Yokai Watch. This caramel corn is hosted by one of the popular characters from the show, infused with a soft serve ice cream flavor too. Could this be the work of monsters? I think I've tried this. I think it's vanilla ice cream. I think I've tried a similar one of these in a different box but that's okay next we have tyrant habanero who came back so these crunchy rings are delicious and dangerously dangerously addictive enjoy the spice of real habanero peppers and the rush of hot and salty treat the crunch will pull you in but the real pepper flavor might have you running for a glass of water enjoy but beware well, I like Flaming Hot Cheetos, and so does Var, so we will try these later. Whoopsie. Then, oh, we must have a premium crate because it has the DIY kit that is the Oikaki Kyanlan Candy. Um, it allows you to create several different adorable, there we go. Several different adorable candy types from molds, adding by adding ingredients up to seven. 
Mix the edible paint to your liking, apply the coloring to the candies with the spatula and enjoy. It's kind of like a stained glass type candy. Uh, I actually have one of these that I bought myself and I haven't tried it, but it's by Crazy, um, Crazy Pop and Cookin. So that's cool. These are these were expensive to buy on their own. Some of these crazy things. Oh. Next up in here, oh, we've got something Pokemon. Pokemon sticker matching chewing gum. I like to get these for Sissy because she really likes Pokemon and she doesn't mind Japanese gum at all. Can you? Sorry, overhead light. It's late at night. Um, so yet another awesome Pokemon treat. Large piece of chewing gum in the vibrant and sweet flavor of cola. The wrappings have a special collection game where you can solve a puzzle with the monster seals you receive. Have a blast and don't chew too hard. All right, so we have more Pokemon right here. We have these lovely little Pikachu Ramune 5 packs. This is another thing I would pick up for Sis. Um, she loves Pikachu. Pika is our favorite. Whoa! So they come in different flavors. Let's see what they say about it. From the hit anime and game franchise Pokemon, these tasty snacks come in various shapes and tastes. Pineapple, cola, soda, grape, and five types of melon flavor to be enjoyed. There are a few, even a few hidden monsters, including Pikachu, in the package. How many can you find and catch? Um, I see just Pikachu. That's okay. So we've got, they're just little circles. We've got the pineapple. The melon, we've got cola, we've got cider, and grape. Alrighty. Ooh, that looks good. This is Fuku Fuku Tai chocolate. It's in Japan. There has been a long time custom to enjoy the fresh taste of sea bream during the new year, and because of that many Thailand dishes are enjoyed. Resembling the puku puku feel of Thailand, these bream shaped chocolate confectionaries offer a sweet and simple treat for the new year. I like the way those look. These are made by Maytal and that's not a company I'm very familiar with. So, I hope it's delicious. We have got another Pokemon Yummy! This is Pokemon Wafers, a yummy wafer that is shaped like various pocket monsters from the hit show. Up to 24%, up to 24 different possibilities of monsters, which will you get? Pikachu is said to be the rarest and you'll get a special character picture with your snack. Rare Pokemon get. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually shaped like it. it feels like a square. But, alright then. This is by Lotte. Lotte. I pronounced that bad. Sorry. Alright, next up. We have another Yokai Watch thing. These are Yokai Watch Fortune Seal Namaste Kuri. In Japan, there's a custom due by a special paper fortune to predict what the new year may bring and receive a fortune blessing at a shrine. These fortunes have been attached to this delightfully, delightfully savory curry snack from the hit anime series Yokai Watch and the character Gera Gera Pole, wishing you the best fortunes. Interesting. So, we will have to try those later. Not on camera today. We have Pokemon Chewing Candy. Another Pokemon dessert treat from us to you. Each piece of candy has a special monster seal on the wrapper and can be transferred onto skin or paper like a temporary tattoo. Oh, well, that's really cool. Additionally, there is a monster quiz on the wrapping as well. Enjoy the sweet flavor of pineapple chew with Pokemon and Tokyo Treat. So we have got a Sylveon and an Eevee. 
I think that one's Sylveon. There's so many... Yeah, that one's Sylveon. There's so many little evolutions. Okay. Next up, this one I think, yeah. This is Nero 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 Ne, and it's a soda flavor. It's a DIY kit that's been popular in Japan for over 30 years. So you mix up the ingredients with water, set it overnight so it'll grow into a fluffy, sweet, puffed candy treat. And then you can top with the little decoration candies and then eat it. I don't know if most people let it sit. Um, like it's recommended. I did. I actually have one of these that I haven't tried yet that I bought myself. So it just means I get more time. Woo! Next up is Choco Ball. I haven't had these ones in forever. These are chocolate ball peanut. They're a special snack that have been popular staple for Japanese living for many years and can be found in a lot of amazing snack shops around the country. They're a simple treat of whole peanut coated in delicious chocolate. You won't be able to forget the snack or the adorable little peanutty bird mascot. He's so cute. All right, we have a drink too. Oh my God, they're sending alcohol in the mail? Oh, okay, it's 1% alcohol. But it's, it's sake. I did not expect to get sake. 1% um, alcohol content. So it's amazing high quality sweet sake. I will definitely drink that. As New Year approaches, the traditional beverage style of choice in Japan are those with sweet flavors. This drink in particular is enjoyed warm and we think you'll love it that way too. Enjoy this non-alcoholic sake that is both sweet and invigorating. Great to have during the, any holiday celebration. I guess 1% alcohol is so little that it's considered non-alcoholic. I don't like most drinks warm, so I'm not sure if I'll warm this up or if I'll just drink it cold. We have a couple things left. We have a little figure. This says it's a Pokemon Monko. Um, can you see this? There you go. Whoa. So this is a Pokemon Monko 12 species assortment. Our special item of the month is not a food or a drink, but an amazing figurine from the Pokemon franchise. Enjoy opening your Pokemon toy box, not knowing which monster you will get. Up to 12 different options from the monster you will receive, and you hope you end up getting one you want. We know you will love collecting these adorable toys as much as you do. Um, I don't know who that Pokemon is. Who's that Pokemon? One that I don't freaking know. I'm so sorry, but it's cute. Um, I have a Pikachu on my wall. Actually, I have a Pikachu uh, from Monkle also, and he's wearing a he's wearing Ash's hat, I think, somebody's hat, and he's on my wall. I got him for Christmas, so I'm just gonna hang this little guy up there, too. He looks like he wants to poo -poo -poo, kick some booty. All right, and this one, I saved this one for last, even though it was right there. This is one of my favorite Pocky. Um, Pookie, I don't, I, oh, I always feel bad like I don't pronounce that correctly. Um, this is Melt in Your Mouth Winter Pocky. Because the coconut Pocky we offered in the summer was so popular, we couldn't resist sharing this treat. Enjoy the delightful taste of biscuit and chocolate dipped in decadent cocoa powder for a layered experience. So this special limited edition Pocky snack is just for you. Now, I was able to get this locally maybe three, four years ago. So they bring it out every now and again, but it hasn't been in my area since then. And I'm so bummed because I love it. It reminds me of the candy Melty Kiss, which is also called Melty Blend sometimes. And it's a little square of chocolate with the cocoa powder on top. Oh my God. So this is like the Pocky version of it. And I'm, I love the 
the coconut they mentioned in the little magazine here and this Pocky. Those two are my favorite, 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 and just hard to get. So we got 14 items total. Again, this is the premium one of the Tokyo Treat Boxes. They have free shipping worldwide and it's $34.99 for this premium box. So it includes one DIY kit, mine had two, and a refreshing drink. You'll get 13 to 17 pieces on average. So, and also special items from limited edition treats to high quality collectibles are also included. So this delivers over two pounds of snacks and candies. And again, free shipping worldwide. They also have the smaller box, the, the regular with 8 to 12 full size things for $24.99 and the small box which is 5 to 7 candies for $14.99 and again the shipping is free worldwide! Woo! That's really good. That's really good because shipping can be really intense. Alright, well thank you so much for watching this unboxing. Sorry that I'm not going to try anything on camera today. But I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe to my channel. I put out unboxings and first thoughts things as I get the time with boxes. Alright, thank you so much again. Bye!